here at Te Roro HQ with Matt from Department of Conservation in an old tennis court. Great use of an old tennis court. As you can see, this is a nursery, although they are building a new one just over there. But every good restoration project needs a nursery, eh Matt? Well, especially when a, a, there's a lot of plants to go in the ground and yep. running a nursery is the way to do it effectively, locally. Yeah, when you say locally, okay, so what do you mean by that? Well, these are plants that are grown from seed collected locally that are going to get planted back into this environment so they're climatized to the environment they're going back into. Ah, uh, okay, so so that might be a term you guys have heard of before. It's called eco-sourcing seeds, isn't it? It's sure, well, it's all of these seeds here were eco-sourced, which means they were from the same ecological area as where you're planting back out. So rather than getting seed from hundreds of kilometers away, and bringing it to a new environment, you bring seed that has already been shown to grow here. Yeah, so it's suited to the environment that it's already in. And um, so these plants, these are going into areas that have perhaps been, had weeds taken out or into areas that, you know, perhaps was once pine forest. And so it's important to know what to plant at different stages, isn't it? Because there's a lot of weeds competing at the same time as these plants grow. There's lots of weeds competing, so you want the fastest growing natives if they're competing against other exotics. And these pioneering uh, native species like the manuka here are suited to the job. They, they grow quick, like these could be three metres within three years. Yep. And then the idea is, is once those plants are established, then the larger forest species are, are put in as well. Yeah, the slower growing natives, which will form the, you know, the canopy of the future, like the Cody over there, but are slower growing, you'd plant those in maybe four or five years after the nursery species like Manuka have been put in the ground. In some areas I know um, are left also just to, to develop by themselves, but this is certainly giving nature a helping hand. A lot of plants around the place. It's a lot of plants, yeah. but for some of the areas of the Titor Fenor Restoration Project it's needed, given the amount of weeds that are in the ground that the team are dealing with. Cool, it'd be great to see that new nursery when it's up and running too, but hey, this is doing the job for now.